Now we move to the fourth sub part of RDM, impact of reference data management. Why are we requiring it? What is the benefit to the clients? What is the benefit to the company? Because after all, basically companies want to create goodwill. Companies want to create name. Companies want to function properly. And what about client? Client wants proper service. If everything is fine, then probably it's a great success. Let's understand here, here it comes. Any operational activity in a bank where things are not done correctly will a negative impact. People have anger in their eyes when they talk about New India Cooperative Bank, Punjab Maharashtra Bank, Bank of Kara, Global Trust Bank. Because trust was broken. Money has lot to do with trust. RDM activities are core to every bank. They bring in trust, confidence, goodwill and of course a lot of business. If you do wrong, it will have a financial negative and plus a lot of negative impact on your name. Reputation will be damaged. Naturally, there will be fines imposed. If you see very closely, RBI as a regulator has fined so many banks for so many lapses. This is very, very important to understand, please. Operational impact. If I give incorrect in confirmation, instead of ABC, I give confirmation to XYZ. This means I am giving confirmation to wrong parties. This is also data privacy breach. ABC sold certain shares. I informed XYZ. ABC purchased certain shares. I informed XYZ. It is data privacy is broken. Breach is there. Compliance issue will come. Client will be dissatisfied. ABC will be angry. XYZ will be angry. And this will affect reputation. So please understand, incorrect confirmation leads to, this has happened before, leads to great damage. It's a reputational damage, data privacy is broke, breached and there are a lot of problems. Incorrect account open could lead to malicious trading. Malicious means foul, wrong. People take disadvantage. We did not check the we did not have a proper compliance or a control and client takes us for granted. Opening bank account systems to unwanted audience, totally wrong. There is non-compliance, heavy fine will be levied. And finally, it leads to reputational damage. Incorrect standard settlement instructions lead to payment to wrong parties. Instead of P, we credited Q. Instead of uh, paying X, we credited Y. Now, these are large amounts. X will say, please give me interest. Y will not give us interest. He will return the money. We return the money to X. But then, there is a reputational damage. And plus, there is a loss of interest if the money is paid 2 or 3 days delay or a 1 day delay. And you understand when we talk about billions, it's a big money. Even millions is a big money. So, but there's a loss of interest. So, basically, wrong confirmation, wrong account opening, wrong party payment, wrong credits, all this are lapses in RDM. RDM is a great field where you can develop and minimize losses. I told you risk management. We all must pay great attention to RDM. RDM helps you in not only bringing good confidence, good profits, good client base. So that's where RDM, I'm summarizing in these four topics. Thank you all very much. Happy watching.